I just don't see deer in the suburbs of Houston as much as I used to see them in the suburbs of San Antonio. What is it? Is there more deer in San Antonio? Oh, there's so many deer in San Antonio. Oh, this one's running off. That one's running off. They don't like me pointing things at them. This one's not so easily spooked, I guess. Up. Yeah, with this one, you zoom all the way, and that's an It doesn't focus. No. I got a decent, decent focus. Yeah, it's pretty good. So are we maxed out on this? No. Sixty-two feet. What? No, we're not even yet. maxed out, are we? Not yet. But it, yeah, but it doesn't reach the other one. Okay. Yeah. So we get a little bit of sun here and you can really see a stark color contrast between these these chlorotic pines and these much darker green ones off here just across just across the road. Even inland a little bit. And just to give you a perspective on the root zones of these trees they're in mulch beds, so there's some root disturbance at the time that this was built and all these curbs and lawns put in. And same with the ones across the way that are somewhat chlorotic. But it's clear that the ones that are the least turf grass competition, or at least it appears to me that the ones with the least turf grass competition have the darkest green foliage. Consequently, the less, the least, uh, less irrigation as well, and uh, probably higher organic content in the soil. But uh, I should do a soil, a soil analysis, soil sample too.